To compensate for the loss of Donington comes the latest addition to the family at Oulton Park in Cheshire. Okay, so here we are, Alton Park. Um, so that's the end of the Friday test day. So it's the 17th of March. We've just had the Friday test day. Um, the morning we obviously spent time pitching up the tent and also pitching up the gazebo, getting the car out, swapping the tyres over, checking tyre pressures, that kind of stuff. Um, after that, we then had a, a sign on and we basically then did the afternoon session. So we did two 20 minute test sessions uh, which was good. First one was nice and dry. Second one um, was wet. A um, couple of red flags, a uh, couple of accidents. Unfortunately, one of the novices in the wet session um, actually um, crashed. Um, looks like the front chassis is uh, completely knackered. Um, so I'll try and put a little photo of that in now. Uh, but overall, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, interesting mixture of cars. So we've obviously got Citroen 2 CVs and a couple of Porsches down there, a couple of Ginettas. Uh, but uh, I'd say probably 40% at least was probably k -trums. shower in the morning um, thankfully they've got showers and everything here in the circuit so it's nice and good um, and then from then we'll obviously go throughout the day and uh, do qualifying it's about half ten I think qualifying so it's one it's rain and we get on with race one and race two um, yeah see you guys later Good morning. So um, it's now Saturday, the 18th of March, um, after a what was a very windy and cold and wet um, night in the tent. I am now just uh, I've just topped some things on the tent, back up to the paddock area, and now heading back to pack up the tent. So exciting time today. Can't wait for it. Uh, a little bit nervous, obviously. Hopefully the weather holds out. It's wet on the ground at the minute, but um, with a bit of luck, that'll dry out in the morning. Um, it does dry out here pretty quick, so let's hope for the best. 
So, first race. Um, so obviously qualifying, uh, unfortunately we had a problem with the transponder. So the first couple of laps it didn't get my time. Uh, so as a result of that, it meant um, I managed to get eighth in qualification for race one. Um, however, because my second and fastest lap that the transponder actually communicated um, was long, uh, much longer obviously than the other one, it meant that the second race um, I was put down to 16th on the grid. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because the V-Box obviously I've got some footage to show and some evidence to show that I was actually within two tenths of my original fastest lap so I should have been eighth on the first grid, seventh on the second grid um, but unfortunately they don't take that into consideration so I was left with 16th place. Um, on the upside obviously of being in 16th place it meant I was able to try and hone a bit of racecraft and try and get past more people um, which obviously helped my ability to be able to understand the grip levels and how other drivers on the actual grid race and um, so I think that's helped um, overall did pretty well and um, third best finisher overall of the day which isn't bad and um, so that's good and I think I'm pretty good to come top 10 um, in the first race and second race obviously moved up um, a fair few grid places to 12th in the end I think from 16th so um, not too bad after all a uh, little bit of damage rear left wing damaged rear right wing is damaged um, and the exhaust is slightly damaged but as a result I was able to avoid what would have been a bigger accident by just having a slight clip um, so it could have been a lot worse. Thanks very much guys, I'll try and do a bit more of an in-detailed review. It was manic today, so trying to catalogue things as it happened was pretty di difficult. Um, so I'll, I'll put in some, some race logic footage as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys.